guys, Joanna coming in with a battle replay here. We have a 1v1 field battle. This will not be the only video I put up today. I just figured I would try and get something out real quick as this replay has been sitting in my Discord box for a little while now, so I figured I would get this one out. Uh, we do have a Rome army taking on Carthage here, so should be a pretty good battle. These are pretty two pretty tough factions here. Let's get into the army comps real quick. We have Rome here being commanded by King of Bohemia. He's actually brought with him the two units of his legionary cohort, uh, cavalry here on his right side. On his left, two units of the auxiliary cavalry. Each unit of the each side of the cavalry has some gladiator, uh, gladiator spearmen behind them. He's brought two units of his Syrian archers, which two units of archers is a little confusing, but he does have a ton of infantry. He's actually brought with him four units of the Evocate cohort three units of legionnaire cohort and one unit of the veteran legionnaires. His general is a legatus unit. And to shoot on over onto Carthage's side, Carthage, the majority of his army is all mercenaries. We will get into his army real quick. He is being commanded by Metju Halmer. I believe I said that name correctly. He has brought with him two units of the mercenary companion cavalry, two units of the mercenary Celtic light horse. He's got two units of the mercenary, uh, I'm sorry, three units of mercenary Italian, sorry, mercenary Scutari, there we go. He's got two units of the mercenary Italian swordsmen and four, three units of the mercenary of the Libyan infantry. Then he also has brought with him four units of the Libyan in, uh, javelmen. He has a unit of African war elephants and his general is a general's bodyguard. Let's get this one going. Let's just fast forward real quick to get them closer on. We see Rome is immediately throwing up his four units of cavalry. General seems to be moving up rather quickly as well. Just want to get them closer and we'll get back into regular time here. Okay, so armies are looking like they're setting up. Oh, we have cavalry swinging out onto the flanks, actually. Two units of the light horse going out onto Carthage's right flank. The two units of the companion cavalry going out onto his left. He's actually, unfortunately, javelmen only have a... What is their range? 80. So they have to get really close, which is going to afford the luxury here of, this, of the Syrian archers to be able to get some fire off onto these men as they're moving forward. Still at 90 men in that unit, so still solid units. Syrian archers are now pulling back, probably going to pull back but right here, yeah, as you can see the lines there. Do see the legionnaire cavalry on the left flank here of Rome, starting to pull back, meet up with the gladiator uh, spearmen. Back on this side, these horses are pulling way, actually pulling way back. Unfortunately, like I said, the uh, javelin men, they have a very short range, so they have to get really, really, really close compared to all, pretty much all of the other ranged in the game. Which I do see Legatus General is moving out. He's going to get a big charge in onto these javelin who are actually losing men as they're getting closer and closer. Big charge into this unit of javelin and they are breaking. 57 men left in that unit. They are also still taking shots from the uh, Syrian archers up. Actually, Syrian archers there. Second unit of the javelin men are starting to break. We do have cavalry collisions on this side. This is going to be a pretty tough fight for Rome here. Yeah, Rome's the auxiliary cavalry not faring very well. Let's get on to the other side. We do have cavalry actually starting to break. The mercenary Celtic light horse are starting to break. Legionary cavalry, both units of those. We did actually he moved a unit of his legionary cohort over into the cavalry battle as well. We do see the gladiator spearmen making their way up. So it looks like Rome is taking care of this side. Starting to maybe make a little bit of a comeback on this side. Now his cavalry is getting chewed up on this side. See the gladiator spearmen, they're making their way in. They're down to 74 out of 90. Do you have a Roman cavalry unit starting to break on that side? Infantry lines are now getting into the mix. Some legionnaire cavalry have charged into some of the mercenaries Qatari. Elephants are in the middle here running amok. Stepping all over these Evocati cohort down this unit is wavering already. See what the elephants are up to. 102 kills already. Wow. Gonna have to be a little careful. It looks like oh, no. another Roman unit is going to start getting trampled here. 
Not losing any men just yet as this unit losing men. A couple. Losing a little bit. Do have some more archer fire coming in. Shooting at the elephants, which I don't know if that's the greatest idea because the elephants are still out of control and they're right on top of one of his units. We do have a cavalry victory on this side. One of the units have actually made mercenary companion cavalry now making their way in. And these two units of archers are wide open for the charge. Big charge into that unit of Syrian archers. They will more than likely start losing very quickly. Elephants over here still doing a fantastic job. Check and see what the elephants are up to now. 168 kills for the elephants. See how they're doing on this side over here. We do have a unit of the legionnaire cavalry starting to break. Carthaginian general is involved in combat. Mercenary Scutari and the general were able to get rid of that one Roman cavalry unit there. Second unit, uh, gladiator spearmen actually over here getting beaten up pretty good by some mercenary Scutari. Legionary cohort, legionary cohort. Comes a charge coming in with some mercenary Scutari. I did see the Carthaginian general, he's coming over. Syrian archers are still on the field. One of them is still on the field, probably not going to last much longer. These elephants are just trampling all of these Roman soldiers here, right in the middle of all of these three units. Ivocate cohort losing men. This unit of Ivocate down to 18. We do have some legionnaire cohort getting some good shots. Elephants now down to six elephants, six riders. Pretty good battle going on on this side here. Ivocate cohort taking on some Libyan infantry. We did have a auxiliary cavalry unit with a charge in onto the back of this Libyan infantry. But this cavalry is not looking too hot now, down to 10 horses left. This unit of Libyan infantry is now pulling off of combat. Oh, cavalry broke. We do have a unit of veteran legionnaires making their way over, hopefully gonna get into these Libyan infantry. Let's see if we can get a Pila Valley. I think they already, actually, never mind. They already used their Pila on one of the uh, Javelin units that were up front. Ooh, big charge. It's a big charge in over there. Mercenary companion cavalry getting a huge charge into some legionary cohort. Way back over here, this is a problem. Legatus General for Rome. Unit losing decisively against the General's bodyguard. No. Ooh, Rome's going to lose his General. He's also losing two other units at the same time. This final unit here, elephants are making their way towards them. Let's see. No, they're going to peel off. Elephants are going to peel back off. Looks like maybe they're going to come into this unit of Legionnaire Cohort here. Cohort trying to move out of the way. Don't think, yeah, they're going to get run over. Legionnaire cohort starting to lose a couple of men. They are getting stepped all over. They all look at the numbers just dropping this unit now. That is rough to see. Rome does seem to be victorious on this side. Legionnaires finally finishing off that unit of Libyan infantry there. Balance of power with the general still being on the field and the elephants. Looks like Carthage definitely has the balance of power. I mean, they definitely, they have one, two, three, four, five, six units to them. Rome only has one, two, three, four, five, actually five units. This unit is not looking good, though. Let's see what the general is going to do. General's going to come in, probably get a flank charge in onto this unit of Evo Cade cohort. They are just left out here. Yep. Ooh. Big charge in onto that unit. We do have some more Pila volleys. Actually, elephant unit now down to two elephants left. So he's whittling away at this elephant unit here. So really good job there using the Pila volleys and everything. But the elephants are not gone. They're going to get another big charge in onto the back of this unit of legionary cohort, which is not good. Cohort now charging in onto the backs of this unit. Mercenary Skutari unit. Oh, what broke. Ivocate unit has broken here now. Carthage definitely seems that they have the advantage. Two units of cavalry and elephants along with the rest of their infantry. Another huge charge in here by the Carthaginian general onto the back of this unit of Ivocate cohort. Another unit of legionnaire cohort now starting to break. Ooh, this is looking rough. This is close. Balance of power is still pretty. Really I mean, it's a little bit in favor of Carthage, but this is really even. Ooh, wait. Companion cavalry starting to waver. Elephants are starting to waver. There's one elephant left. One elephant left in this unit. Ooh, this is really close. What's the cavalry doing? They only have the one unit of cavalry still. Yeah, they have the general. He's got 14 men left in that unit. Elephants are pulling out of combat here for a second. We do have some Ivocate cohort pulling away from the main line of fighting. 
Mercenaries, Qatari 55. Legionnaires have 102, but there's another unit here, Scutari 45. What are the Evocates doing? They are heading towards the general. Looks like the general's gonna pull away. Do have a tiny unit of Scutari, just got a side charge in onto this unit of veteran legionnaires. Ooh, big charge. Not really, actually, not that big of a charge. Wow, that horse went flying. Evocate cohort doing a little bit of a number. General's bodyguard now down to 13 left. Do they still have their chance? The general's still alive. It does seem that the general is still alive. Elephants are way over there. I don't know what the elephants are doing. Probably. I mean, there's only one, but he could definitely still be used over here. General's bodyguard getting a big charge in onto the back of these veteran legionnaires. Evocate cohort returning the favor, getting a rear charge in onto the Carthaginian general. He is not looking well. Down to six men left. He's starting to waver. Oh no. Oh, all three units. Wow. Carthaginian general has now broken. Don't know if he's dead. But that is the end of the battle. Wow. Well done there by Rome. We do see the elephant unit now has finally wavered. He has broken. Costly victory for Rome. Let's see exactly how costly it was. Rome lost three, 1,325 men. Carthage lost 1,357. Wow. Let's get into the army kills here. Like I said, Rome here being commanded by King of Bohemia, who's actually the guy that sent the video in. So, King of Bohemia, thank you very much for sending this replay in. That was really close. I did not think that was going to happen at the end there. Uh, Legatus General with 25 kills. His Legionnaire Cavalry, 74 and 70. Auxiliary Cavalry with 2 and 26. Getting into his Evocati cohort, 146, 58, 87, 214. Well done there. Legionnaire cohort, 44, 93, and 69, and his unit of veteran legionnaires, 176. Gladiator Spearman here, 77 and 66, and his two units of archers really not performing very well. They were rear charged, so uh, 13 and 28. Getting into Mechu, Mechu Hammer here with Carthage. His general was 62 kills, elephants 301 kills. Wow, and they're not even armored elephants. Wow, that's amazing. Mercenary Companion Cavalry here, 216 and 55. Celtic Light Horse, 9 and 17. Javelins, yeah, they didn't do much of anything. 4, 1, 32, actually 32, wow, and 8. Getting into his Libyan Infantry, 47, 47, 24. Mercenary Italian Swordsman, 6 and 23. And the Mercenary Scutari, 127, 117, and 219. Wow, really good kills with that unit of Mercenary Scutari. So, real quick battle, like I said. Hope you guys enjoy it. This will not be the only battle I put out today, but stay tuned for the second one. It will be another field battle. Like I said, I had a couple in the in, in my Discord waiting to be recorded here. Uh, I believe the other one is a 2v2 land battle. Should be pretty good. So, hope you hopefully you guys end up checking out both of these videos. If you do, please make sure to like and comment on the videos. And continue subscribing to that channel, guys. We're getting real close to 500 subscribers. So, again, thank you very much for the support. And I will talk to you guys soon.